Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming such an exciting video, like I am so, so, so excited to do this. I'm going to be filming obviously a perfume haul and there is a lot of fragrances here. Like for me, this is, this is a lot, a lot of perfumes. Like I've seen some massive perfume hauls on, on YouTube, like with, they're hauling like 100 plus fragrances, but this is not that big, but it's still really big. So I'm really excited because today... I wanted to tell you guys a little bit, a little bit about this website called Feeling Sexy. They actually were so kind to actually send me some fragrances to try out, to smell. So I'm really excited because you guys have to know, like, I don't want this to come across like I'm pushing this website in your face. I'm pushing the company in your face because I really, I'm not like that. But I've actually used Feeling Sexy many times before we even kind of connected. And I was so, so, so excited that now we're kind of, you know, we're, we've connected and they've sent me a few perfumes and it's so exciting for me because... I've used the website before many times and it is my favorite, favorite, favorite website to shop online for perfumes. It is an incredible, incredible Australian website, which I found so hard, like to find an Australian perfume website that was legit, that was reliable, that had good customer service and actually stocked loads of brands. I found that really hard. Like, I don't know if I have any Australian people watching this. I don't know, but I honestly couldn't find a really good perfume website until I found Feeling Sexy and they literally sell, they literally stock every single brand. They sell designer, niche, they sell Creed, Amouage, like so many different brands, you guys, that it's insane. Like if you want, if you have a fragrance in your head right now, it'll be on, it'll be on Feeling Sexy. Like I'm not even joking. And I hope this is not coming across as an advertisement because honestly, I just want to tell you about their website because it is so amazing. And they actually gave me a discount code for you guys, which I thought was so kind. I don't make money from the code. This is not for my benefit. This is totally for you guys. Like this is for your benefit. And you can get 10% off your entire order if you just use the code Demi Rolling in capital letters. The code only is for Australian um, uh, users only. I'm sorry. Like, get off my video right now and go on to Feeling Sexy and literally look at all the brands that they stock it's absolutely unreal and I know as well all of their fragrances they're always at like a discounted price they've always got really great prices they've always got sales on you can use my discount code for an extra 10% so it is absolutely amazing and I did want to just tell you guys about it so the code is actually valid until the 28th of February I think so use it now if you like any of these fragrances that I'm about to show you I'm gonna stop rambling please follow me on Instagram it is at demi.rolling and my snapchat is demi rolling let's get into this haul like I am so excited so excited guys oh quickly as well I bought some of these fragrances like some at, towards the end that I'll show you I bought them ones myself so. okay so the first fragrance that I got is from Yves Saint Laurent and this is Mon Paris and can we just take a moment that box is so cute this fragrance is so beautiful I've actually seen like totally mixed reviews I feel like some people don't appreciate fragrances like this but I am the total opposite I think this is such a beautiful perfume to me this is just a sweet, juicy, fruity fragrance, but in the best way possible. I absolutely adore this and I really love the bottle. It's so girly and cute and feminine. To me, like I said, some of the notes in here that I can truly just smell is like strawberry and raspberry. I honestly don't smell anything else but some beautiful sweet fruits. It's not in a tacky way though, to me. This doesn't smell like tacky fruits. It smells beautiful and fruity and juicy. I feel like this is exactly like what a man would typically want a woman to smell like, like Barbie, if you know what I mean. Like this is one of those fragrances like that I definitely think that I will just chuck this on in the daytime to go shopping, to run errands. Like if I'm feeling like a fruity fragrance, I feel like this is gonna be the one that I'm just gonna go to immediately. Super girly, super feminine and super cute as well. A fruity, juicy fragrance. I know, I know my sister would love love this. I actually might buy this for her, um, buy a bottle for her because I think that she would totally love this fragrance. So that is YSL Mon Pari. I love it and I think it is, if you do like a sweet fruity fragrance, this one is amazing. So. Okay, so the next fragrance that I got is usually something that I would never, like I would never go to this before, but I smelt this in store one time and I just fell in love with it and ever since then I always wanted to purchase it. This is by Dior and this is Pure Poison. Now to me, this is a beautiful white floral and I know what you're thinking. I usually, I hate florals, like I'm sorry. I really don't like floral fragrances and they don't usually sit very well on my skin except for this one. This is so beautiful, you guys. This has notes of gardenia and jasmine, and I'm pretty sure there's orange blossom in there as well. It is just so beautiful, and I've got it on my skin today because 
I actually tested like three of these fragrances out today. I showered, but like I had to test it and I've had this on my skin for probably about four hours now. Oh my god, it smells so beautiful. It's probably turned into more of a more of like a sweet kind of floral, but I still it's still a white floral fragrance. Like it it doesn't change. Like it's still the gardenia, the jasmine. It is just so beautiful, you guys. I would say that this is a very clean and crisp floral, and it's also got this kind of cold vibe to it. Like it feels like a more cold sort of floral, if you know what I mean. I've seen a lot of people say that this is like a wedding fragrance. Like this is something that a woman would want to wear on her wedding day, and I 100% agree. This is floral, but this is floral done right because I've definitely tried out floral fragrances and I'm like never again like I don't ever want to touch another floral fragrance in my life this is just beautiful like it starts off a little bit like a little bit full-on and then as soon as it kind of warms up it just turns into like what it is now this beautiful gardenia jasmine orange blossom and I can also smell a little bit of the like amber because there's amber in this fragrance as well I can feel it like warming up onto my skin so Pure Poison by Dior. I, trust me guys, I'm not the sort of person that likes florals whatsoever, but this is beautiful. I think that this would be really nice for an everyday sort of fragrance or somebody's signature scent maybe. Again, maybe a wedding as well. Like I definitely think, I don't even have a boyfriend, but I would wear this probably as a wedding fragrance as well. Like it's just, it's just this beautiful, clean, white floral fragrance. I think that you can get away with this in a lot of situations like work and, and, and just like an everyday, if you want to wear like a more floral, floral fragrance, I think this is beautiful. Um, cause it's not as well, it's not like a polarizing floral at all. Like this isn't one that's going to disrupt everyone. It's just beautiful. So that is Pure Poison by Dior. It also has this very, I know this is a weird word and people are very personal when they talk about fragrances but has a very alluring kind of feel to it so I also feel like this would be nice for a date as well if you you're into like floral fragrances this would be a great one for a date too so pure poison by Dior oh my god it's just so beautiful and I love the bottle like this is probably my favorite poison bottle the like white and, and purple it's beautiful okay so the next fragrance I'm gonna breeze past pretty fast all I have to do is show you guys a box and you know Lancome La Nuit Treasure. I asked them to send it to me because I was actually out of my, I was out of it. And I really, I miss this fragrance. Whenever I don't have it, I miss it. I've gone through two bottles of this and this is my third. I, I don't need to say anything. You guys trusted me and you bought it and you guys also fell in love with it. So if you don't know, and this is your first video watching me, hello. Lancome La Nuit Treasure, best fragrance in the world. It's a masterpiece in my opinion. I think it is absolutely incredible. Honestly, I can go ahead and describe the notes there. It just turns into this beautiful, caramel, delectable, um, seductive fragrance. Like, every time I wear this, guys, like, I just feel, like, so sexy. Like, do you ever have those fragrances that you just put them on and you immediately feel sexy? That's this fragrance for me. Like, I just feel... Like I can, I can do anything that I want when I've got this fragrance on. It's got caramel, it's got praline, it's got vanilla, it's got incense, it's got strawberry, it's got lychee, it's got pear, it's got coffee. Like it's got all of these different notes in. But like I said, it's a fragrance that you really have to go and smell to experience what I'm talking about. So many of you guys have bought it. People in my life have bought it because of my recommendations. Like I reckon like just so many people have bought this fragrance because I go on about it so much. I love it when you guys trust me and buy something off my recommendations recommendation uh, like I said I don't want to go into it too much but this is the best fragrance and I definitely it, it, it's such a head turner it's just amazing okay so the next fragrance that I got is Armani Code the original so I have smelt this so many times in store and I've just never bothered picking it up but I've always always thought that it is one of the most beautiful cozy just sexy fragrances for a woman and I'm so excited that I finally own it. It is so beautiful, you guys. If you watch my channel, you know that I own the Armani Code Satin, which means basically they have like the same kind of DNA, but the Armani Code Satin has all of those gourmand, praline, yummy cacao notes in there to make it more like of an edible fragrance. But this is just as sexy, in my opinion. Like this is so... Oh my god, like I'm smelling it right now and I kind of want to put it on. This is the most sexy and like cozy kind of fragrance. I feel like I'm definitely, this is going to be my winter signature scent for sure. There is orange in here, there's honey, there's vanilla, there's jasmine. When I first spray it on, I get more of those white florals that are in there. I'm pretty sure it's jasmine and orange blossom. But as soon as it starts warming up, I smell the honey, I smell a little bit of the orange. And then later on it smells like vanilla and it just... 
oh my god, like I, I have no words. This is a very, very, very popular women's, women's perfume, but for a good reason. It is so sexy. It's so seductive as well. I feel like this is a great, like the other one, the Code Satan, they're both fabulous date fragrances. So whatever one is more your preference. I actually feel like I'm kind of loving this one a little bit more, to be honest with you guys now. Oh, it's so sexy. So definitely a date night, a nighttime fragrance, um, a winter fragrance. I definitely don't think I'm boiling right now, you guys. Like I'm sweating again. I tried not to say anything, but I am suffering right now in silence because it's so fucking hot in this room. But this is just, this is beautiful for the cold months. Oh my God. I feel like I'm just going to be wearing this like every day. Okay. So the next fragrance that I got, I have wanted to smell this for so long, like as soon as it released and I saw the ad as well for it, I wanted to smell this fragrance and I hope that I'm not going to butcher the name. I know there's like a way to pronounce it, but this is Terry Mugle and this is Aura. Now, oh my God, you guys, I have seen so much hype on Instagram and, and YouTube and like everywhere about this fragrance and some people really despise this fragrance. I sprayed it on myself this morning. I did have a little sniff and I actually really like it and I'm not just saying that. There's something about this fragrance that I really, I can, I can appreciate this fragrance and I can really enjoy it. It's so different. It's so unusual. And I don't think that I've ever smelled anything quite like this. And can we just talk about the bottle? Like it looks like a little sapphire. Like it, it's so beautiful. So what I smell in here, to me, it smells green. It smells a little bit, a little bit minty, but also very sweet. There is vanilla in here. There's rhubarb, there's woodsy notes. But for me, like I said, it just smells like a little bit grassy and a little bit green it has the vanilla for the sweetness and yeah it just you kind of have to this is definitely a fragrance that don't blind buy this one because it is a very unusual and unique scent i have sprayed it on me and to me some people say that it develops really weird it develops so beautiful on my skin today i sprayed it up here and oh my god like i just it turned into this beautiful, sweet kind of fragrance. Honestly, I actually really enjoy this fragrance. I feel like I'm definitely gonna wear this as like a throw on in the daytime sort of fragrance if I wanna go for more of like a fresh kind of sweet. And that's another thing, it has like a fresh kind of vibe to it because it does smell a little bit minty as well. It's a very unique fragrance. Like it probably sounds like I'm a little bit like jumbled all over the place explaining it, but it is a fragrance that I think that you really have to smell. It's beautiful. I feel like this would also work really well in the colder months. So that is Terry Mugle, Mugle um, Aura. On. I also have another Terry Mugle fragrance. And this one, you guys, oh my god. Like, this is probably one of my favorite fragrances out of this entire haul. I mean, there's a lot here that I'm obsessed with. Um, and I never, I never blind buy perfumes. I'm very much one of those people like, obviously if you're watching my video, you'll know what Fragrantica is. I always look on Fragrantica. I like to try samples as well if I can. Um, because I, I definitely know what I like, but you can never really tell with fragrances. It's something that you really do have to smell. Oh my God, you guys, Angel Muse by Terry Mugle. Holy shit. Like this is... This is amazing and I feel like it's going to become my new nighttime seductive fragrance. I'm so intoxicated when I smell this. This has patchouli in it. It has vetiver. It has a hazelnut cacao spread, I'm pretty sure. And it gives it this really chocolatey um, gourmand sort of fragrance. Like this feels like if I spray this on my arm, I haven't actually worn this yet, but I want to lick it off. Like that's the sort of vibe that's giving me. This isn't a sickly sweet fragrance. It's very sweet and it's very gourmandish, but in the best way possible. The hazelnut gives it this really creamy and like rich and like delectable kind of feel to it. Oh my God, you guys, this is so, 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 so gorgeous. Like, trust me right now. If you like my recommendations with Lancome uh, La Nuit Treasure, try Angel Muse. Oh my God, like, I feel like this is going to be my go-to, like, nighttime, at least now. Like, I really, really cannot wait to try this. Like, I almost said to my friend, like, let's go out clubbing on the weekend because I want to wear uh, Angel Muse. Like, I, I haven't been out in so long. But I really want to give this guy a spin because it is so incredible, you guys. It's the hazelnut. The hazelnut in there is giving it this very rich and luxurious and creamy feel to it without being too overly sweet. And in this fragrance, it's very smooth. Like, there's nothing in this fragrance that is very um, pungent and, like, hitting you in the face. It's this very smooth, sweet, gourmand, delectable fragrance. Oh my god, you guys, I am so in love with this. This is Terry Mugle, Angel Muse. Try this. If you guys love Lung Come Lung We Treasure, try this. Like, try Angel Muse. It is so beautiful. And I've heard 
I have heard that this is a monstrous fragrance and I always find that fragrances that have patchouli in them are always extremely extremely like powerful fragrances and they last a really long time like all of my fragrances that have patchouli in them and like a heavy dose of patchouli they last forever so I'm so so excited I definitely I'm gonna like specifically go out clubbing and get back to you guys and tell you if it was an it was bleh if it was a winner or no but this is so incredible so that is Terry Mugler Angel Muse like when this arrived it took my breath away so the last fragrance that I was sent I guys like when I opened the box I was so like blown away with this fragrance like how it's packaged and I'm just gonna show you right now is that not the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen I was just like breathtaking. This is by the brand Mimo Paris. I'm just gonna open it up so you guys can see. It's not gonna fall out. So basically it comes in here like this. So what I have here is Kadu. Now I've been wanting to try this brand out for a really long time and I couldn't find a website that, that held and carried Mimo Paris except for when I found Feeling Sexy and I realized that they had all of these niche brands, like all of these incredible, incredible, like niche companies like Amouage and Mimo Paris and Creed and like they sell all of these incredible brands. And so this is Kadu and oh my god, you guys, I have never smelt anything like this in my life. Like this is a very, very, very unusual and unique scent. So what I get in here is it starts off with like it has a, a note of grapefruit in here. And I, well, as I'm smelling the cap, I can definitely smell that. I actually, this was the first fragrance today that I sprayed on my skin because I was so intrigued and I really wanted to see how it sat on the skin. It did not disappoint. This was so beautiful. So when I first sprayed it, I definitely got the grapefruit. There is a note of sesame seeds in here. The sesame turns it into this beautiful, smooth and very rich kind of scent. It is so beautiful. A little bit creamy as well. It also has a note of white musk in here, which I smell as it kind of like sank into my skin. I was asking my mum, I was saying like, this smells a little bit musky to me. Like, what do you think? And she totally agreed with me and she doesn't know anything about fragrance. I feel like it is a little bit more, it sits a little bit more on the feminine side actually, but it is so beautiful. And what I love about this is it's very soft. Like this is a fragrance that you could wear every day, um, daytime. You could also wear it in the nighttime. It's just a very, um, kind of subtle fragrance. Like it's not a powerful projecting head turner fragrance. There's no notes in there that are super like uh, intense and aggressive. It just turns into this beautiful smooth blend, but the sesame I think really makes this fragrance. It turns it into like this beautiful and rich and luxurious um, smooth kind of feeling scent. It also has a little bit of a herby kind of vibe. Um, I definitely don't get the herbs too much. I think it's mate that's in here. If, cause I looked at the notes before I got it obviously, but I think it's mate, but I definitely just get the beautiful sesame, a little bit of the grapefruit. As it kind of sinks into your skin, it goes a bit sweeter and it just, oh my God, you guys, it's, it smells beautiful. Like this is a very gorgeous, very like inoffensive fragrance as well. Like I feel like you would not disturb anyone if you had this on your skin, you'd just smell beautiful. I feel like I would wear this for a lunch date. I feel like the woman that wears this is so put together, so classy, so sophisticated, absolutely beautiful. Like that's like what kind of, like I imagine, oh my God, you guys, it is so beautiful. That is Mimo Paris Kadu. I definitely want to try out a few more of the Mimo Paris fragrances because I was so impressed with this. It's so unusual. I've, I don't have any fragrance like this in my collection at all. Like this is an extremely, extremely unusual and unique scent. Okay, so the next fragrance that I got, I actually got it because you guys recommended it. And oh my God, you guys just are amazing. Like honestly, I adore this fragrance. I'm sorry, I adore this. This is D&G number no. three, Limpatrice. I asked you what would what your favorite summer fragrances were, and this D&G number no. three was a reoccurrence. Like literally, most of you guys recommended this one, and oh my god, oh my god, you guys are so right, and like, it is incredible. I looked at the notes, and I was like, yeah, I think I'd like that fragrance. I love. I love this fragrance. So let me just say before getting into this, the bottle, that, that bottle is everything. That is my aesthetic. It's clean, it's crisp, it's just so luxe looking and the pink liquid as well. Oh my God, like I knew I was gonna like this fragrance. I did not know I was going to love this fragrance. So what I get in here is watermelon and the kiwi. Those are two of the notes that I smell immediately. 
And straight off the bat, those are two like fruity notes that aren't like sickly sweet fruity notes, if you know what I mean. So they're more light, they're more aquatic kind of fruits. And then I get the sourness. It comes in with like this little bit of sourness to give it that, that tang, that little sparkle. And that's the rhubarb. So honestly, like I looked at the notes and I immediately was like, I know there's watermelon in here. So it comes in with the watermelon, the kiwi and the rhubarb. And it just smells so beautiful and fruity and light. Like, I'm sorry, but this is fruit in the best way possible. Like this is fruit in a sophisticated and classy and exciting way. A lot of fruity fragrances, I still like these fragrances. So I don't, I'm not hating, but a lot of fruity fragrances cause can come across really tacky and really Barbie. You know what I mean? This is fruit, but in the best way possible. It is so gorgeous. And I have a word that I would describe this fragrance, but it sounds a little bit, I don't, I hope people don't think I'm lame, but it smells exciting. To me, it smells exciting. It smells like the girl that wears this is very charismatic and happy and bubbly and, and just sparkling. Like it's just, oh my God, you guys, like talking about this fragrance, you can see how excited I am because it's, it is an exciting fragrance. But please listen to me. This is on sale on uh, Feeling Sexy. It's on sale. I can't remember. It's about 10% off already. So you can get a further 10% off with my code. I've left it on the screen. I'll link it down below. And honestly, like I was just, oh my God, you guys, it's, it is so beautiful. And I really didn't know. I knew I was going to like it, but I did not know I was going to love it. Like this has become, this is going to be my favorite summertime, daytime fragrance, if you know what I mean. Like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, bye. Bye girl, bye. Like I still love that fragrance, but this is so much more me to wear in the daytime. That is D&G number three, Limpatrice. Guys, recommend me more fragrances because I've literally got a list of all of the fragrances that you recommend and I intend, I intend to buy all of them. Like I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put my wallet away. Like I will buy all of them because they are, like this, this one right here was everything. Like I was just so amazed when I first got it. Okay, so I also have another Dolce & Gabbana fragrance and this is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. Now, I actually get, had to get the smaller bottle because they were out of the like bigger bottles of this. But you guys, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. Like, I know this is like maybe not everybody's taste, but oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is a really sweet, like kind of candy fragrance. The top note that I smell is marshmallow. Marshmallow, vanilla, and raspberry. What separates this from most like sweet fragrances in my opinion is that this has no polarizing note in there. So it hasn't got any like note that kind of hits you in the face and is like really aggressive. It is very light and very, very, very sweet, but it's got a lightness to it. And I think it's the raspberry that lifts it up or something. There's something about this fragrance that it isn't a sickly sweet, heavy kind of fragrance. And you guys know I love Love Your Bell by Longcom, but sometimes it can be a little bit too, a little bit too much and a too aggressive sweetness. This is not aggressive. This is a sweet fragrance, like very sweet. It's got marshmallow in it for God's sakes, but it smells sweet in such a light way. I imagine heaven to smell like this. Like, I know that sounds really weird. Everyone has their own interpretation of what it would be like, but for me, I feel like this would be like heaven. Like it just smells so beautiful. It's got, like I said, marshmallow, vanilla, and raspberry. Those are the three things that I smell in this fragrance. It is so beautiful, like so beautiful. I feel like this is a great throw on fragrance. Like I would wear this in the daytime. I definitely would want to wear something with a little bit more of a, an attacking kind of scent at night, but this is definitely a great daytime fragrance all year round in the hot weather as well. Um, but also in the cool weather, like I'm just, I love this. I definitely will get the big, bigger bottle when I run out of this because this is beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous, you guys. Like, honestly, I love this fragrance. Um, people say it can be a bit powdery. I don't get any powderiness on my skin, like at all. To me, it just smells vanilla, marshmallow, raspberry, but in such a light kind of sexy and girly way. It's beautiful. So that is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. I'm pretty sure this one's also on sale on Feeling Sexy. So go ahead and get it. Okay. So I have three fragrances left to talk about. And these are my three like cheapies. Like these are all like more of the cheap sort of fragrances. So here we have Aquilina Gold Sugar. Now this is a funny story because when I was like 15, 16 years old, Pink Sugar, Pink sugar was my shit. Like that was my jam. I bathed in pink sugar. I reckon I went through three bottles of Aquilina's pink sugar. Like that was my scent. And I would like overspray myself. I would saturate myself in that scent. Like 
I would disturb people around me because I was wearing so much of pink sugar. But I had always wanted to try gold sugar, but the store that I went into would never have it. So I finally got to try it. I got the small bottle just in case I didn't like it, but you guys, I love, love, love this scent. And I have to say, I have to say, I like it so much better than pink sugar. And the reason is because this one is more, it's more um, creamy, it's more heavy, it's more dense. One of the notes in here, like a few of the notes that I can really smell in here, it starts off with like, as soon as you spray it, I smelled orange. Like I was like, what the hell? Like I smell orange. And as soon as it hits your skin, it turns into this creme brulee whipped cream. Um, just this amazing coconutty kind of fragrance. Oh, coconut is one of the top notes in here as well. Oh my God, you guys, it's so beautiful. So basically, once you wear it for a little bit, it just is like this coconutty, creme brulee, creamy fragrance. I definitely, definitely would say to wear this in the cooler weather because it is such a heavy and dense and like gourmandish sort of fragrance. So definitely stick to this at either nighttime or in the winter oh my god it is so beautiful but I have to say I wore this once at night um, I went down to a bar with my mum like right by the beach I wanted to wear something a little bit coconutty and sweet and creamy so I chucked this on but it didn't last long on my skin like it did a not and I was kind of disappointed it didn't last long on my skin I really thought it would because pink sugar I had no problem with this one did not last as long on my skin but Oh my god, like it smells so good. Like this is another fragrance that you just kind of want to eat it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like I just kind of want to eat this. So that is Aquilina Gold Sugar. The bottle's cute. The scent is... Okay, so the next fragrance I also got because you guys recommended it. And I've also heard Kathleen Lights, who's a... You guys will know who Kathleen Lights is. She's amazing. And she recommends this fragrance all the time. It's Jennifer Lopez Miami Glow. Now this, this was beautiful. Like when I first smelled it, I was like, yes, this is summertime. This is summertime in a bottle. And you guys always come through with your recommendations. And let me just say, the, obviously this is a celebrity fragrance, but this is like gorgeous. Like this is a, a, a luxe celebrity fragrance. Like I don't think this looks tacky or bad at all. It is beautiful. This is a summertime fragrance. Like you want summertime? This is summer bottled up in a pretty little bottle. Like it is beautiful. To me, what I really smell is vanilla, coconut. It's a little bit like it's got passion fruit as one of the notes in there. And I also smell like muskiness. Like there's a really musky vibe to this. And I didn't expect it. Like I thought it was going to be, sorry, I thought it was going to be really similar to Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. I feel like they, they're totally different. Yes, they have a similar summer tone like kind of vibe, but this is musky. It's coconutty. It's got a little bit of passion fruit and it's also like a beautiful vanilla. Oh, it's beautiful. Like I definitely can imagine myself with a tan walking down to the beach bar and having a little cocktail with this on. Like Oh my god, it's beautiful. But I feel like this is a strictly summertime fragrance. Like, I feel like if you wore this fragrance in winter, people would be looking at you like you're a dickhead because it's so, it's so tropical and it's so summery. Oh, you guys, it is beautiful. This was my mum's favourite fragrance out of, like, all of the ones that I have. Like, she was like, what is that? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like, she loved this. I was like, really? <laughs> but no, it is a beautiful fragrance and I'm so excited to wear this in the summertime. Definitely for a summer night, like a sexy salsa summer night. That's what I feel. <laughs> okay, so the final fragrance that I got, this is the only fragrance out of all of them that I am a tiny bit disappointed in. And it's by Escada and it's Turquoise Summer. Again, this was a fragrance that loads of you like recommended and it was a reoccurrence in my comments. Just a little bit too cloying and a little bit too uh, like sickly sweet for me, but I will try to give it a go because I don't like to um, waste money and I don't like to waste perfume. So if not, I think my sister potentially could like this fragrance because as I said, she loves like fruity, juicy fragrances. But otherwise, this is a great fragrance as in when you're a little bit younger, I feel maybe this is a great one to just chuck on every day. So that is Escada Turquoise Summer. It's the only fragrance that I was just like not super impressed with, but it's still, it's still a decent fragrance. And I do really like the bottle and stuff, so it's cute. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Oh my god, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm so sorry guys about all of the background noise. Like I can't I can't get it to stop. I'm like literally having like little little intermissions when it stops and I'm trying to like talk as fast as I can. So you guys, this is so frustrating. I'm just trying to film an outro. Let me live. <laughs> Hope that you guys enjoyed this massive perfume haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, always leave your comments, leave your recommendations, leave your recommendations. What is your favorite perfume? What perfumes do you recommend to me after seeing what my style is like? Because literally I write down every single one of your recommendations, guys. Like if you leave them in the comments, I'll write them down because 
you guys know you guys know my taste you guys know my style you know my shit so thank you guys so much for watching this video please follow me on instagram it is at demi.rolling and my snapchat is demi rolling also if you want to get 10 percent off on feeling sexy use my code i've already talked about it but honestly i thought it was such a great deal especially because like I don't know, fragrances are expensive. I just thought it was a fabulous deal. I'm not benefiting. They're not sponsoring me. This isn't paid. I'm just talking about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye.